Alice Brady was a great actress who did amazing work in classic Hollywood movies. She played memorable roles that people still love today. Whether she was playing interesting characters or making us feel real emotions, Brady's acting is something many people connect with. Do you have a favorite memory or experience related to this famous actor? Share your stories below and keep watching for more interesting facts about her life and career. Alice Brady, a respected actress, made a lasting impression in classic Hollywood with her captivating performances. Her roles in various movies are still remembered by audiences today. Newcomers to her work can explore some of her best movies to see her incredible talent. One of the well-known projects she was in is in Old Chicago, a historical drama where she played Molly O'Leary. Another famous film is My Man Godfrey, a classic comedy where she portrayed Angelica Bullock, showing her comedic skills. In Young Mr. Lincoln, she depicted Anne Ruddledge with depth and sensitivity, adding to the movie's emotional impact. For those discovering Alice Brady's work, in Old Chicago is a captivating introduction, blending history with strong performances. My Man Godfrey offers a fun comedic experience showcasing Brady's versatility and comedic timing. Additionally, Young Mr. Lincoln provides a poignant display of her dramatic abilities, making it a must-watch for fans of classic cinema. Exploring these films from Alice Brady's career not only provides entertainment, but also gives insight into her talent as an actress of the classic Hollywood era. Alice Brady, a famous actress, made a lasting impression in classic Hollywood with her amazing acting. Her roles in different movies still connect with people today. One of her notable works is in Old Chicago, where she played Molly O'Leary and left a strong impression. Another highlight is My Man Godfrey, a funny movie where she showed with her great talent for comedy as Angelica Bullock. Also in Young Mr. Lincoln, she played Anne Ruddles with depth and sensitivity, adding a lot of emotion to the film. These roles show how good she was at acting different types of characters. For those new to her work, in Old Chicago is a great start, mixing history with great acting. My Man Godfrey is a fun movie that shows off Brady's funny side, while young Mr. Lincoln is more serious and shows her dramatic skills. Watching these movies gives a good idea of Brady's talent as an actress in the classic Hollywood era. Daughter of Broadway producer William a Brady, Alice Brady came from a family deeply involved in entertainment. Her father, William A. Brady, not only produced Broadway shows, but also worked in filmmaking and led the World Film Corporation from 191, 1918. He also fought against censorship in 1919 as president of the National Association of the Motion Picture Industry, although he didn't succeed much. Sadly, Alice Brady's life was cut short by cancer just five days before her 47th birthday. This talented actress left behind a lasting impact on audiences. Adding to the family's sadness, her son Donald William Crane passed away in Los Angeles, California at the young age of 19. This loss deepened the grief for those who remembered Alice Brady and appreciated her work in entertainment. Alice Brady's work in classic Hollywood movies endures through her performances, which show with her versatility and talent. From portraying Molly O'Leary in An Old Chicago to playing Angelica Bullock in My Man Godfrey and Anne Ruddles in Young Mr. Lincoln, her roles were diverse and impactful. Her performances not only entertained, but also gave insight into human emotions, showing her skill as an actress. Alice Brady's ability to transition between comedic and dramatic roles made her a revered figure in classic Hollywood movies. In Old Chicago, My Man Godfrey and Young Mr. Lincoln stand as reminders of Alice Brady's talent and lasting influence, ensuring that audiences worldwide continue to appreciate her work. Alice Brady, a well-known actress, is buried at Sleepy Hollow Cemetery in Sleepy Hollow, New York. She's remembered for her funny roles, but she also played serious parts like Lavinia Manon in Eugene O'Neill's Morning Becomes Electra on Broadway. She was a liberal Democrat, and her acting connected with people no matter their politics. Brady came from a family in showbiz, with her father, William A. Brady, being famous in Broadway and movies. Sadly, she died of cancer leaving behind a lasting impact. Brady's son, Donald William Crane, also died young, adding to the sadness for her fans. Through her many roles, she showed with how talented she was, leaving a strong impression on classic Hollywood movies. She could switch between funny and serious roles easily, making her a respected figure in entertainment. Her acting in different films gives us a glimpse into human feelings, making sure people everywhere still love her work. 
Alice Brady, a notable actress, made a lasting impression on classic Hollywood with her outstanding performances. She was known for smoothly switching between funny and serious roles which captivated audiences around the world. Her standout role as Molly O'Leary in An Old Chicago won her the prestigious Best Supporting Actress Oscar at the 10th Academy Awards. This award solidified her position in movie history, making her the 11th actress to receive such recognition. Brady's talent went beyond awards. She was the first actress to get two Oscar nominations for Best Supporting Actress in consecutive years. Her strong performances in My Man Godfrey and in Old Chicago show with her ability to portray diverse characters with depth and authenticity. Born into a family deeply involved in entertainment, Brady grew up surrounded by theater and film. Her father, William A. Brady, a well-known Broadway producer and filmmaker, passed on his love for the performing arts to her. Despite facing personal tragedies, including the loss of her son, Donald William Crane, Brady's passion for acting remained strong. Apart from her achievements in movies, Brady also made an impact on Broadway with her dedication to acting. Her portrayal of Lavinia Manon in Eugene O'Neill's Morning Becomes Electra received critical acclaim. Today, Brady is laid to rest at Sleepy Hollow Cemetery in Sleepy Hollow, New York. She leaves behind a rich cinematic history that continues to connect with audiences of all ages. Her timeless performances show her talent and lasting influence on the entertainment world. In the book Actresses of a Certain Character, 40 Familiar Hollywood Faces from the 30s to the 50s by Nils Axel Nissen, Alice Brady's biography is detailed. She was born into a family deeply involved in entertainment, with her father, William A. Brady, being a prominent figure in Broadway and film. Despite facing personal tragedies, including the loss of her son at a young age, she remained passionate about acting. Her versatility allowed her to smoothly transition between comedic and dramatic roles, and she received recognition for her performance as Molly O'Leary in An Old Chicago at the 10th Academy Awards, winning the Best Supporting Actress Oscar. She was also the first actress to receive two Oscar nominations for Best Supporting Actress in consecutive years. In addition to her achievements in film, she made a mark on Broadway with her acclaimed portrayal of Lavinia Manon in Eugene. O'Neill's Morning Becomes Electra. Today, she is remembered for her influence on classic Hollywood and is laid to rest at Sleepy Hollow Cemetery in Sleepy Hollow, New York. Her timeless performances continue to connect with audiences of all ages, showcasing her talent and impact in the entertainment world. Alice Brady, the respected actress, had a notable career in classic Hollywood. She came from a family deeply involved in entertainment. Her father, William Brady, was well known in Broadway and film. Despite facing personal sadness, like losing her son when he was young, she stayed devoted to acting. She was good at both funny and serious roles, which people liked. She played Molly O'Leary in In Old Chicago and won the Best Supporting Actress Oscar at the 10th Academy Awards. This made her the 11th actress to get that award. Besides winning the Oscar, she was also the first actress to be nominated twice for Best Supporting Actress in a row. She wasn't just good in movies, she also did well on Broadway, especially as Lavinia Manon in Eugene O'Neill's Morning Becomes Electra. Nowadays, people still like her performances, even though she's not alive. She's buried at Sleepy Hollow Cemetery in Sleepy Hollow, New York. Her work in movies and theater shows her talent and lasting influence on entertainment.